Alright, so this video is to explain distributive property of multiplication. Distributive property is a strategy to help students answer a large multiplication problem. So if we have 7 times 8, which is a larger multiplication problem, which is a lot of times harder to do in your head. So this is another strategy that we can use. When we have the multiplication times multiplication problem 7 times 8, we said there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 boxes going down. And then we also have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 boxes at the top. Okay, that's how we get our multiplication. Well, instead of counting up every single one of these dots, there's a little bit of a different way to put it together, and it's called distributive property. Distribute mean, meaning that we're going to separate them. We're going to separate the, this big group into two smaller groups. So I'm going to pick and say, okay, I'm going to add these four columns in one group, and I will have the rest of them in another group. And then what I'll do in the end is I'll come back and I'll add the two together to find out what the, the answer is to multiplication 7 times 8. So here I say, well, okay, to find my multiplication problem for this side, I say, well, there's 7 going down, so that's 7, times how many are at the top? 1, 2, 3, 4. So no longer are there 8, there's a 4. So I need to do multiply it times 4. That's my first multiplication problem. On the opposite side, on this side, we say that there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 going down times how many at the top? 1, 2, 3, 4 as well. So I'm multiplying it times 4. So really, the easiest way to look at this is if you put parentheses, this is one group in the parentheses, and this is another group in the parentheses. So if I find the, the answer to 7 times 4, and 7 times 4, and I add those two together, I would find out how many dots I have all together here. So 7 times 4. I could count by 4's 7 times. I could count by 7 4 times. And I should get the answer of 28. So my answer would be 7 times 4 is 28. 7 times 4 is 28. So I add these two numbers together. 28 plus 28, 8, and 8 are in the ones place, so I have to add them together, that's 16. Here in my 1, 2 and 2 are in the tens place, 2 plus 2 is 4, plus one more is 5. So my answer, if I were to count up all of these dots, would be that 7 times 8 equals 56. So just to review, the 7 times 8 I got from 7 going down and 8 going across. But I didn't want to count all of these. So I cut it in half and said, okay, well this side has 7 times 4. 7 going down, 4 at the top. And this side has 7 going down and 4 at the top. So that's how I got my two multiplication problems. Then I add those two answers together to find the same product as 7 times 8. I hope that helps, you it helps a little bit in explaining how to do distributive property of multiplication. Good luck.